Hey everybody, this is Mike from Pike Mall Tech, and I just wanted to say thanks for checking out this video that will show you how you can start your own teacher blog and write your first post in less than five minutes. I hope. I hope I can get this done in five minutes. So, in less time than you can make a grilled cheese sandwich, really, grilled cheese, you can start your own teacher blog on your own domain and get your first post up. Now, I made this video because I get so many teachers asking me just how do they start blogging. They know they should be blogging because there's just about 80 million websites, and yes, 80 million because I did the search, that tell teachers, yes, you should be blogging as a teacher. There's lots of reasons out there why, but there's not really any that I've been able to find that actually tell you how to start blogging. So I created this video to help teachers like you or anybody that wants to start a blog I created it to help teachers get started with their own blog and start getting your ideas and thoughts online, which is very important in the day and age we live in. I really believe that many teachers never start a blog because they just don't know where to begin, and my hope is that this video will help get you started on the path to becoming an amazing teacher blogger. Now, I'm going to try to get this done in less than five minutes, and I think I can do that without any problems. I'm probably going to go pretty quick, but again, with the video, you can pause uh, as you need to and go back and review. Please do that as much as you need to, but I am going to try to get through this very quickly once we get started and hopefully get it done in less than five minutes. Uh, I'm also going to try to get the first post written. It will be a very short post, but I'll show you how you can get your first, first post up, and I'll get a picture in that post, and also I'm going to try to change the theme of the blog as well. Now, before we get started... I will say again that I am showing you how to start your own blog on your own domain with your own hosting account. And I know some people get kind of freaked out when you talk about buying domains and buying hosting accounts. And really, it's nothing to freak out about because it's really easy to do. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do. And it has the added benefit of you get full control over everything on your site. Yes, you have to pay for it. But these things are really so inexpensive. And I'll show you just how inexpensive they are. Um that it it really doesn't matter um it, the the cost is is irrelevant it's really 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 inexpensive but the benefits are so huge because you get full control over everything on your website literally you are 100 percent in charge you 100 percent decide what goes on the site how it can function what functionality you'd like to add everything about it is 100 percent yours and that's just something you don't get using other free blogging platforms like Blogger, which seems to be very popular with teachers. And Blogger's great, but it does come free does cost you something. And that what it costs you is you don't have the control. And, and people I've already seen are having trouble doing things with Blogger that they want to do because they can't do it because they don't have that control. With what I'm going to show you here, you have 100% control over everything. And as teachers... We have enough things in our lives that we have no control over, like content standards, curriculum, standardized testing, you know, those things that we just have to deal with because we have to. So wouldn't it be nice to have something that in, we can use in our teaching practice that will probably help make us be better teachers and help us connect better with our students and give them something else that they can put in their student toolbox that will make them a better student and a better digital citizen and it's 100% ours, I think the, the very minor costs are far outweighed by the, the huge benefits that you can get out of hosting your own blog on your own domain. So I, I think that's the solution um, that I recommend for everyone. So if you're ready, I'm ready to get started. So let's do this now. I'm going to exit out of this, and I'm going to start by pulling up my website at pikemaltech.com, and this is on the blog, uh, pikemaltech.com forward slash blog. And we're literally going to click right here on the link here to WordPress hosting right here at the top right corner. So we're going to click on that link, and these guys, this is HostGator. And I will tell you that I've been with HostGator for a very long time. I've been with them, I think, since 2007. Um, fantastic hosting company. Customer service is amazing. Um they're just they're just great all the way around. Um, highly recommend them. So once you click on that link, you're going to go click right here to view web hosting plans. Now the one that I will recommend that you get is called the baby plan. 
The reason I recommend the baby plan is because you cut, you have unlimited domain. So let's say you want to start a different blog or you want to start a classroom blog. You've got web hosting space for as many domains as you want uh, with this plan. With the Hatchling plan, it's a single domain. So if you want to set up another website, you got to buy another hosting account, which you do not need to do. One hosting account will host lots and lots of websites. So this is the one that we're going to go with. So let's click the Order Now button. And we're going to select the option register a new domain. Um, and I'm going to use the domain mynewteacherblog.com. Okay, so this one is available. Now, if you have an idea for a um, domain name and you don't, you can't get it, just keep thinking, I would highly recommend that you get the .com extension uh, as your first choice. But if you have the .net or .org available, you can get those guys too. Now, as you can see, uh, this domain is twelve ninety five a year. That's a year price that you would do. Okay, so then we're going to go down here. Yes, we're selecting the baby package, and I'm just going to go to the billing cycle uh, at and have it rebuilt every month because I'm going to give you something really cool here in just a second. Okay, now that I've got my billing information entered. Um, when you scroll further down the page, there's going to be a thing asking you for have a coupon code. Yes, you do have a coupon code. If you type in Penny Hosting, P E N N Y H O S T I N G, Penny Hosting, uh, you're going to get your first month of hosting for only one penny. And you'll see that right here. So basically, all you're paying for when you start using this method is the uh, registration for your new domain which is $12.95 so you're paying $12.96 to start uh, your um, WordPress blog on your own domain your hosting is $9.95 a month thereafter uh, you know 10 bucks a month I mean that's it's it's pretty cheap so uh, we're gonna go ahead through and create account okay so now that I have created my account and here's the part where you will just have to take a break for a while it does take some time to get your account set up uh, give it an hour or so. So, you know, go and get some things together, eat some lunch, grab a cup of coffee, watch a show on Netflix, grade some papers, whatever you'd like to do. It'll take a while to get your site set up. Once you do that, though, um, you can um, go to your web browser and you'll type in your uh, domain name. Sorry, blog.com. Uh, so type in the domain name that you registered, and then you're going to put forward slash cPanel, because this is where we'll actually set up WordPress. Uh, you will have gotten an email from HostGator that gives you your username and um, password to log into your cPanel. Uh, I've already got those in here for mine. So we'll log in here into the cPanel. cPanel is your control panel for your website, and honestly, you probably won't get in here very much at all. Um, if really if ever um, so you're gonna go down here and you're looking for something called quick install but you're gonna scroll down the page and underneath software services you're gonna see quick install so we're gonna click on that and this is how we're actually gonna install WordPress as you can see here on the left um, under blog software WordPress so we're gonna click on that uh, WordPress is a web software you can use to create a beautiful website or blog, and that's what we're going to use. Uh, this does install one of the most updated versions of WordPress, looks like. Uh, let's click Continue. Uh, it's going to ask you where you would like to install WordPress. I recommend that you install it uh, at just your top-level domain, at whatever your domain name was. Put your blog in that destination. Don't add a different folder. Just put your blog into like mynewteacherblog.com slash blog. I don't really recommend that. Just use your domain name. Uh, enable auto upgrades, which I recommend. Uh, put in your email and your blog title. And put in your a username for your admin, and that can be whatever you want. Um, And put in your first name and last name, which I highly recommend you do. You use your first name and last name. Uh, and it's just click the install. And it's going to take just a minute to get this installed. And we'll let it cook, see how it goes. 
All right, great. Installation is ready. You can now access it by going here. It has given you your admin username and it's auto-generated a password for you. Uh, it's also given a link to where you can log into your administration area for WordPress. So we're going to open that link in a new tab. I'm going to copy this password real quick, which I will change here pretty quickly so nobody else gets into uh, the website here and tries to hack something. And we'll get logged in. Okay, and here we are in the um, WordPress dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right over here to the left-hand side and where it says post, we're going to add a new post. And I just got a new uh, notification there that we're just going to call this my first blog post and type a uh, very simple hello world. I can't wait to share my teaching thoughts and practices with you. Okay, and then we're going to add an image to this. Okay, so now that we've written um, just a little post, and uh, this post can be whatever you'd like for it to be. We're just um, just just riffing here just to get started. So I'm then going to add a picture. We're going to add media, and I have a file here on my desktop ready to go. This is a file I found through Google's image search using their uh, uh, <clears throat> labeled for reuse, so this is free to use. Um, we're going to insert this thing into post. And boom, there it is. And we can align that image to the left if we like. Let's drag it up here to the top. It looks a little better. And then we're going to go over here to the right and click the Publish button. Again, this is really quick. I know it, there's not a lot of starting here, but this is your, just your first post. This is getting things going. So now we can go and we can view post. And you'll see what your website looks like right here and right now. And again, this is just the theme that came with WordPress. Uh, here you go, the title of my first blog post. And you are, you've got your first blog post done. So really quickly, we're going to change the theme real quick. We'll go back to our dashboard and click in themes. And we're just going to change this to one of the pre-installed themes. You get a few in your WordPress installation. Uh, we're going to change from the 2014 theme to the 2012 theme just to get a different look. And now we can go back. Now that that's changed, see, it's, that's, that's how quick and easy it was. We've changed the entire look of the website with the click of a button. And now, see, I like that look a little better for, for a first blog uh, until you find a theme that works better for you. Um, so there you go. That is how you set up your first blog post, uh, get a new WordPress blog installed, got your own hosting account, and you put your first blog post up with, a, with even an image. You know, you're rocking. You, you got this going. And see, it really didn't take that much time. And uh, now you're ready to get going with your own blog. And I'll bring you more steps on how you can do that uh, in future videos. Um, but I really hope that you'll take this chance and start your own teacher blog this way on your own domain uh, with your own hosting account. Just it's unbelievable the things that you, you'll be able to do with it. Um, and again, keep watching for more videos, and I'll show you some of those awesome things that you can do uh, coming up very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, remember, you can get your hosting account at pikemaltech.com forward slash hosting, or you can visit the links on my blog at pikemaltech.com. Thanks so much, much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.